What if I told you that you can access 99% of everything that Minecraft has to offer in survival just by starting in a world like this? Hello there, Ray here and welcome to Proto Sky, an extreme nether skyblock world that uses only vanilla features, meaning you're going to have to use your wits to turn this humble start into a thriving Minecraft world. Proto Sky is the brainchild of the project members after five years of theory crafting and testing we have made the most extreme vanilla skyblock of all of Minecraft history. Proto Sky is such an extreme skyblock it takes around 20 hours just to get cobblestone and it takes about one month just to get villagers and you guys can actually join us as we play Proto Sky as we're going to open up this server to my patrons as well as twitch subs. So make sure to join us on this extreme journey and a new YouTube series here on my channel. So if you guys would like to take part in this crazy journey we're going to have, make sure to join as a Patreon at tier 2 or above or become a Twitch sub, which you can actually do for free by getting Amazon Prime for free. I'll put my Patreon as well as my Twitch link as well as information how you can get Amazon free and essentially get on the server for free. And you can find those links in the description. And thanks to everyone who has subbed to me on Twitch or has been a Patreon. With your guys' support allows us to do even cooler stuff in Minecraft. I have a lot of big ideas and hopefully with your guys' help we can actually do them. So exactly how extreme is this skyblock? Well for starters we are here in the nether dimension and there is not a single block as far as you can travel. Other than this starting block right here. That means no nether fortress, no bedrock. But even though there isn't any blocks in the biome, there is still biomes. This world is just like your normal Minecraft world except all blocks have been removed meaning you have access to unique biomes with unique mob spawns. Protoss Guy starts in the nether dimension and takes advantage of all the new 1.16 content. Now it is possible to escape the nether dimension even with such an extreme start. And when you do escape it, you are rewarded with this, which is a grass block and a lava source. And just like the nether dimension, it's a normal world with all the blocks removed, including all major structures. This means you get access to unique biomes as well as the bounty boxes of structures that are left behind. This means you can make all the amazing farms just like in any other world, but you're almost starting with absolutely nothing. There is only one structure that is in the entire overworld, and that is the entrance end portal. So let's go ahead and find the stronghold, and we will go out there. It's quite far. This is just like a normal world where the strongholds are very far away. And you can see the only structure is the actual entrance end portal. And you guys even get advancements when you get close to the stronghold. Everything about the portals is exactly the same. It's at the same wide level as you would find it in a normal world. And if you would happen to get enough of eyes of Ender to actually make it into the end dimension, you are going to be in for quite a surprise. As when you spawn in, you spawn on your obsidian platform, which generates with the game. And the game also generates in the obsidian pillars, as well as the ender dragon. And of course, the ender dragon has his exit end portal which is also generated in by the game, but you'll notice that there is no other blocks in the end dimension. This makes for a very extreme end fight. If you do happen to kill the ender dragon, you think you have escaped the void, you are given a gateway portal to leave the main end island and make it out to the outer end islands. The only problem is when you get out here, you will see there is quite a lot of nothingness as the portal generates in using the normal generation as well as it normally generates in a small island so the player doesn't fall into the void. This is all normal for vanilla but what is not normal is every single other block in the game being completely removed including even the end cities. So every block from the end city was removed but the shockers are all left behind. You can still see that the end city is technically still here so you still get the advancements. And you can also find the item frames floating in the air, but they don't last very long. Within a matter of seconds, they pop off and fall into the void, so you have to be quite fast if you want to get yourself Elytra. Proto Sky may seem like an impossible sky block, but the Protec guys have been meticulously planning this out for the last five years. Starting way back when Protec was still on Skype, we actually wanted to play sky block on the Protec survival world. And we planned out a long-term project of removing every block from the top of the world to the bottom of the world, including bedrock, until we made ourselves a complete void. We even found the ideal location with a witch hut nearby. But with so many crazy projects going on in Protec to do with 1.12, it'll be a while before we actually update to 1.16. So putting our plan into action, we went ahead and designed a special world where we can implement all our crazy ideas and make the most extreme skyblock possible without adding any new features to the game. And someone I would say is the founder of Technical Vanilla Skyblock and also one of my favorite YouTubers 
Redstone Jazz. Seven years ago, he started a Skyblock series where he made a typical Skyblock world into an extreme automated Minecraft world. And after watching a series, I wanted to make it an even more extreme Skyblock world. And through the years, we've been brainstorming on ways to make it more and more extreme all the while only using vanilla features. It really helped that we had a lot of talented members and even some of the most experienced Skyblock players like Lord John who had one of the most influential Skyblock worlds with almost 2 million views on it. And one of the project members Acheron River did a Skyblock series 3 years ago using all these cool techniques that we theory crafted. This first playthrough was very important, we learned a lot from it and we were able to figure out more ways to make it even more extreme. But it wasn't until the 1.16 update did we really see that we can actually make Out of Sky such an extreme skyblock that most people wouldn't believe that it uses vanilla features. Over the course of the 1.16 snapshots, there has been quite a few changes which meant we had to kind of tweak it along the way. And the final result allows us to play it in 1.16 full release. In order to keep the game as vanilla as possible, we had to make it so it was a normal world that just removed all the blocks without actually removing any of the bounty boxes or the biomes. That way we could get unique mob spawns like wither skeletons from nether fortresses. Deadly MC, cheater codes, and a squared made this amazing mod that does this seamlessly that you don't even notice that the blocks are being removed. And also make sure that the light is correctly calculated. It was really amazing to see all the different problems they were able to overcome during this process. As well as see the entire process over the last 5 years of theory crafting finally get put into an amazing world. It's going to be really insane to see what are the actual limits of such an extreme sky block. Will we be able to build all the crazy farms like we have on Protech in such a world? You guys will be able to test the limits. I have been playing Minecraft for over 11 years and never actually played a normal sky block before. And I've always wanted to make a really extreme sky block that uses only vanilla features. As I have played Sky Grid before in the past and I really enjoyed that, especially the technical aspects of it. The Proto Sky will actually be the first sky block that I have ever played in the 11 years of playing Minecraft. You guys probably have a lot of questions about it, especially to do with how do you obtain like this item or is this item even possible to get in this world? We will be answering those questions while we progress in the series. We have did extensive playthrough testing of it during my Twitch streams and we worked out all the bugs so we know it's going to work out perfectly. And we will be starting Proto Sky this Wednesday, the 24th of June. And I will also be streaming it live and then our progress will eventually make it onto YouTube in a new series. So if you want to be there from the start, make sure you become a patron or a Twitch sub. And also turn on your notifications as well as follow me on Twitter so you get notified at when we start up the world as well as the stream. We will also be doing Proto Sky during my Friday stream. And from now on, probably Friday streams will be dedicated to doing Proto Sky. Now once you guys are a patron or a Twitch sub, you get access to special channels on the Protect Community Discord. If you guys aren't already a part of our Discord, make sure you guys join it with that link down below. Now with those special channels you'll have access to the seed as well as the IP and a channel to ask if we get whitelisted onto it. And make sure you guys check out the rules on there as well because there's a few things we have to do in order not to get soft locked in our own world. And all farms and machines will be designed by the people playing on the server. So you guys can take part in the process of coming up with new cool farms for the world and showing off what you built to me. Plus you will be on my YouTube videos and we'll be able to show off your builds there. I also have my own Discord that you guys can join where I have tons of different channels to discuss all sorts of things Minecraft related. And don't forget guys to share this video with other Minecrafters so they can join in this crazy journey. Proto Sky won't be available until we finish the series. I'm already anticipating the start of it to be quite insane as it won't only be me as well as my subs and patrons, but it'll also be all the other project members who want to take part as well as their subs and patrons, plus patrons of the Protech server and Discord boosters who helped boost the Discord to level 3. All those people on a single block at the very start with a single bow mill item hoping that you get a giant fungus. It is definitely an experience you do not want to miss, so I hope to see all you guys there. I'm very excited to play with you guys in such an extreme environment but also able to turn such a world into a flourishing survival world with enough time and willpower. I would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.